Hi, Susan Blue Robot here from SusanBlueRobot.com. I'm here today with another um, pop-up video. I'm using Meet the Cuts pop-up card studio. Um, I've had many requests of how I got me arches to um, be arched both this way and that way. And I'll go through it. Um, Andy taught me it's um, now, first off, these uh, purple lettering, just to say hello, um, they're glued, they're cut out separately and glued between the um, arches on the plane. They're not part of the pop-up, but they do pop up with the um, arches. So we'll get started in the way that I um, was shown how to do this. Um, we'll start with a new plane and I will put it first off put up on a plane of zero and I'll bring in the arch steps we'll, we'll do arch steps with the split mirror um, the card is six inches wide so the split mirror is three that's halfway you can alter this if you just want it on one side or wherever you'd like it now for this you can make as many steps as you want I'll go down to about um, six steps for this to make it a quicker video of course I've used more steps on the um, this uh, card I made okay well, well we won't do that right so what we'll do uh, first off is we will come over here and we'll say go up to I can't see me dotted line but we'll go up to about there into the center and that I did both ways in, and um, I don't know if you've seen then, but it, that's better. Okay, now what you do is you select those both and you do a well. I want to make sure that's on the bottom plane, so I go down to the bottom plane and let it complain at me. Now what I do is go space bar, which takes me to the bottom plane and I go to a plane of zero. These two things I'm putting in now will eventually be taken out. These are just go bys. Now I use the arch depths again and I go from this side this time. I go up here and I go into the center. And I select them and do a weld. And that won't be right because you've still got a little. Select them both, do a weld, and we see now that. We have arches here and arches here. Now I didn't change the number of steps and hopefully if I've done this right and I will just check this one is a width of 4.85938 and we'll go back to this one, holding the D key down, selecting that. Um, and we will just, so we've got these both the same width. 85938. And we'll also make sure that's centered and down to the bottom plane. So. This is going to be the arch steps up and this is going to be the way it arches in. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to start on this plane.
sign here and you go okay I'm going to put my anchors up but you don't know how far to go up to but that's okay because here's the trick we'll go auto quad I'm going to leave it on split mirror and I'm going to go put my snapping on and I'm going to go make sure they're both dotted, go up, dotted, right? And I got the dotted going one way, the red line doesn't matter. So that mirrored, so now hold me control shift and go to the next one. Now, make sure they're both dotted on the bottom, go up. Now, as soon as they're dotted, just the blue one going up, and if you notice, I've gone up really, really high. That's fine. Go click. And now we go down again. Click there. No. Click there and do an undo because I know I didn't have dotted both ways there. Click. Go up high. When the blue's dotted, and we go down again to the next one, zoom around, click there, up higher. The key to this, so you don't muck up, is you go up high, higher than you think the back would be. And the same here, click there. When the blue's dotted, click, and we go one more. Turn the split mirror off. Go, click there, and click there. Okay, this is the f this is the first part of your um, anchors. Okay, now what we do. Is I'm going to go to this bottom one on the back here and here it's turned yellow so as you see we we'll turn around here this anchor here is hot way higher but that's okay because that's what we want now you go oh well I have to trim them no you don't put the split mirror back on and I'll show you what we do you go to the back here you got dotted both ways, click there, out to here, when you've got dotted both ways you go click, okay, now they're joined, no trimming involved, if you notice before when we did it, these were up higher, now when you put this one over, it's now trimmed, so we'll go up to the next one, and the idea is to on this back thing here okay so now we go click there pan around so you can see what you're doing click there and oh I see I was I didn't check for the dotted lines going this way so it didn't it only cut off to a certain point see that's what it does it cuts down to the right plane so we go undo easily done we go click there And I move this around so I can see it in my view. And the, they're dotted both ways, I could click. So that's now trimmed that. Now this is the thing, don't go on this one because this is the shadow of these ones. You always go to the yellow on the very back plane. 
So we could click here, out to here, and click. Zoom out a bit, not too much because I want to be able to see. Holding the control shift, it goes to the next one. Dotted lines, click. Dotted lines, click. Control shift and up one. Dotted lines, click. Dotted lines, click. And up the next one. Dotted lines, click. And dotted lines, click. So all those ones that were way above la before are now trimmed and all neat. Now what you do is you, this is the important thing, hold your D key down, go back down to the bottom here and push, well that's highlighted, push, cut. You have to take that away, otherwise it will cut. Also, just for cosmetic sake, and sometimes it does make a difference, hold the D key down and go to the back plane, or go to the back plane, the zero plane, here, and push select all. So it selects that back one we put in, and go cut. Now what we have is we have the um, arch steps both going arched in and arched up. We can do a print preview on that. See we have all our mountain and valley folds. No broken lines. That's how quick and easy it is. Now as I said on a side note, these are not actually cut when I'm cutting the pop-up part of the card. What I did was here is I say brought in um, fun time is these These would have been on this plane here. So, yeah. When I'm working out, um, I'm going to go paste. Right. When I'm working out how wide my letters were to be, I would have done this sort of thing. Okay, they had to be that, but they also had to be touching one another. So what I did there is I went split take them over here for the moment and what I like to do is like have the fun make sure they're all holding the control key down when you're using the arrows in here gives you more control of being able to go uh, littler turns and not the snapping turns Take the snapping off. You can also have more control over placement. That T, I would have mind having it a bit less over. Hold the control key down and turn the handles. You've got more control to go a little bit at a time. And then what I do is weld them, I so that none of them fall out. Then what I do is I make sure that it's going to fit in there when it's cut. Of course in Make the Cut or one of your other cutting programs, whatever you may use. So what I do, that's going to go there. The thing is, people will say, well, why can't you cut that out there? Because none of these pieces back here now are going to be anchored to the bottom of the card. So, that's a separate cutting. 
So I, what I do now is go, that's perfect size. I go copy, open, make the cut. I'm sorry, I didn't open in, in advance. Go paste in place. That's the perfect um, cutting that will fit across your arch steps when cut. So I um, hope that answers the several um, uh, emails and questions on my blog that I've got about this. Of course, Andy showed me how to do this. and he also does it dif several different ways, which he has done in webinars, um, I think on the 11th slash 12th of January 2014. He showed arches being made then in a different way. They were angled arches. That's well worth looking at. And uh, thank you for visiting um, to watch this video. If you'd like to find more videos, you'd find more videos on Pop-Up Card Studio on SusanBlueRobot.com. And uh, if you'd like to purchase them, either Make the Cut or Pop-Up Card Studio, if you click on a li link on my blog or below this um, video, and that will support my blog. Uh, thank you for visiting. Be come back soon. Bye.